In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update and install Adobe a Flash Player plugin for Safari and Mozilla Firefox on a Mac system. Uh, this is a new, um, new method to do it. Before you had to go to the Adobe page every time and download it. Now there's a way uh, to bring it up. So we're, the first thing we're going to do is start at Adobe's uh, page because we've got to get it onto our <coughs> systems. And <coughs> the first thing we're going to see when we get to Adobe Flash uh, Player Download um, is that some of the things are blocked out on the page. That's because I run a little program that I'll show you in another video how to install onto your Mac uh, that hides Flash until you're ready to look at it. Save some operating uh, time for your processing unit on your computer. Okay, so we want to check to see what version of Adobe Flash we have on our uh, computers, and in this case it's 10.3.181.26. If we drop down to this line where it says Macintosh OS X for Firefox, Opera, and Safari, we can see that the current version is 10.3.181.26, which is the same version I have installed. But uh, for pretend sake, let's uh, say that we didn't have it, so we go to this right here, the download player, center and we click on that and it'll take us to the download and then we click download now and it downloads very quickly into my downloads folder that's where you're going to find it so let's just go ahead and close this all up and just take a look at our downloads finder so we know where it's at in the finder window to downloads install flash dmg that means that it's a a file that we can install on our macs and double click it and that will verify it and then the installer. We can see the uh, Flash Player icon over here on our desktop and the actual folder here. We need to double click it to install a program and it's from the web. We want to make sure it's okay to install. Yeah, we just downloaded it, we know. We have to read the license and then we go ahead and install. And we need to make changes to our system. So I'm logged in as a standard user, so I have to ask my administrator for permission to do so. Write my password in, and it's okay to install. Now, I get a little pop-up window that says, hey, you know, you've got some uh, Safari open, which I need to have to install this. So we have to close this. So we can just go force close all. Eh, let's don't do it that way. Let's just go over here and close it. Quit. That takes care of closing Safari up. And now we just retry it and go ahead and install it. And now it's installing. It takes just a couple of seconds for it to install. So it's putting the plugin into Safari and into Mozilla Firefox, which I also have as a browser on my computer. And it's exceeded and it's done. So we're done, but not quite. One thing we've got to do is close that window up and we still have the Flash Player icon up on our desktop. We don't need to keep that mounted on our desktop forever. We just go over here to Devices on our Finder and with the triangle, we just click it and it dismisses it. Not quite done yet either. Let's do a little housekeeping. Let's go back to our uh, downloads folder and we see that we've installed it, we've used it, no need to keep it around. Uh, command delete gets rid of it, takes it right to the trash can. We've done a little housekeeping so we don't have a cluttered download folder. Get in the habit of doing that. Okay, we're not quite done but we're going to launch Safari again and we're going to take a look, quick look at um, System preferences. We go to system preferences. Let me just get that off the desktop. Here we go. System preferences. And if we look toward the bottom and other, we see a flash player icon. That was never there before. This is the new notification system that I'm telling you about. So we click on that and we see what we want to do is immediately go over to this advanced tab right here. And what we want to do is in this advanced tab is to make sure that check for updates automatically is highlighted. So that little radio button should be on. That way, when there's an update, you'll automatically be notified to keep your system up to date. That should be on by default, but if it isn't, make sure it's, it's checked. Next thing we want to do is go over to the storage window. So storage, by default, <clears throat> when it first installed itself, it's allowing sites to save information on this computer. I think for safety, security, and uh, convenience, you ought to just click Ask Me. I don't want anybody to be able to make a change to my computer without asking for permission. You can check block all sites, 
Um, I've tested it and it seems to work fine on my system, but um, it might not in yours. And I think Ask Me is a good safe bet. So check Ask Me before allowing. If you go to camera and mic, by default, it's Ask Me. I think for sure you don't want to give somebody access to your camera. They could be spying on you, so Ask Me. And then play back the same thing. <clears throat> I think those are good security settings. That's good, so we'll dismiss that, close that up. We're ready to go. Um, hopefully now uh, we won't have to uh, rely on emails back and forth or be way behind the curve. Uh, the bad guys are always trying to, to hack into Adobe Flash. Um, updates are being issued by Adobe very frequently now. They're trying to stay on top of it. Um, you need to have Flash on your big computer. You don't necessarily need it on your, your mobile device, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I want to thank you for stopping by.